Welcome to the next lesson of Excel Problem Solvers. This is number three, where we're going to take Susan and Tim and ask them what they want to buy. We'll evaluate this with a spreadsheet and then hopefully come up with a graph. So Susan and Tim are both going on vacation and they're going to explore either a Caribbean cruise, Orlando, or Chicago. First of all, she says, I'm Susan. Would you help me pick one of these three vacations? My husband and I like all three vacation ideas, but we want to spend as little as possible. We will fly, stay five nights, and four days. Tell me which one of these will cost the least. And so we're going to build a spreadsheet to answer that question. Which one of these will cost the least? Let's look at the details of what kind of vacations they are. The Caribbean cruise is the simplest. It's $555 with almost everything included. The only thing it does not include, it says here, is airfare. So we have to buy plane tickets to get to Miami. Orlando has theme parks. And so they're going to spend four days and look at each theme park. So for her, it's going to cost twice the price of each ticket. They're not going to rent a car, it says in the small print. They will spend money on a hotel, and they estimate $50 per person on food each day. Lastly, we have Chicago. Chicago is a city of museums, and so they're going to go visit the Natural History, the Museum of Art, the Science Museum, and the Broadcast History Museum. And so each of these prices is per person. In Chicago, they have to rent a car, their hotel is a little bit more money, and they estimate about $50 per day for food. And this box over here, we show the costs of the airline. So. Miami, Orlando, and Chicago are all different costs, and those are per person. Now let's look at how we would build a spreadsheet. First of all, we have a column for each city. So we have Chicago, Orlando, and Miami. At the bottom of the page, we're eventually going to have a total for all of these cities. So we'll find out the answer down here, and then we'll make a graph. I've divided the costs up into per person expenses, so if you have more people in your family, per person expenses will go up. And then hotel expenses, assuming that all people stay in the same room, it will cost the same for two people as it will for four. And so the hotel is more of a fixed cost per night rather than per person. Now for some of these we won't have a number. For instance, if we look at Chicago, we will have no money for Disneyland, so we can just put a zero in there. Also for like the museum, the science museum, we will not have a science museum cost in Orlando. Some of these costs will be just zero. It appears that there's something missing. I have hotels and tickets, but there is also car rentals. So you might want to include another car rental expense somewhere down at the bottom and then add that into the subtotal. So calculate all of the subtotals per person expenses, hotel expenses, car expenses, add them together, compare the three cities, and give Susan her answer with a bar graph. Once you've finished with Susan, then you can use her work to copy and paste a new chart, a new bar graph, and you'll have Tim's answers as well. Remember, he has two children, so his per person expenses will be higher. Good luck in helping Tim and Susan pick their vacation.